Hey guys, what's up? Nikki here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that's listed down below. If this video helps you guys out, um, if you guys have been around for a while, hey, hi, welcome back. How you guys doing? Um, but in today's video, we will be talking about how I, myself, my son, and my mother and father, how we all live on about $25 a week. Um, now, the thing is, is that they buy their own food, I buy my own food, and normally every two weeks, uh, my mom goes grocery shopping. However, she only grocery shops for like pop and like my dad's lunch and snack cakes and things like that. So that's basically what all of her money goes towards. But me, I go shopping once a month and I spend normally around $100 for all of us. So this is subtracting like what my dad's lunch would be um, because that's just that's just what my mom buys. And then if my mom wants any like, you know, candy or junk food or anything for her, that's that's what basically their grocery money goes towards. But um, my grocery money will go towards all of us, all four of us to eat for an entire month for about $25 a week. Uh, and it's very easy. It's very simple. I do not do couponing. Um, so that's already out the window. Uh, I probably could do couponing and I probably should do couponing. But I already get the items cheap enough as it is. Uh, to the point where I don't feel as if couponing is necessary for someone like me. Now, I mean, if you guys have seen my video where I am living on $900 a month, you know, I probably should coupon. But the fact is that I get these deals um, basically as good as I get them. I it, it just, it never crosses my mind to actually coupon. Um, if I were to coupon, I would probably do it at like the Dollar Tree or somewhere like that because Dollar Tree does indeed accept coupons. A lot of people don't know that, but Dollar Tree does accept coupons. But um, basically what we do for living on $100 a month or $25 a week, you guys are probably thinking, how in the world do you possibly feed four people on $100 a week? It's very, very easy and it's should be something that everybody knows how to do. Um, it just comes with a lot of practice and the more you guys go and find what works for you, the better uh, living situation you guys can be in financially and affordably. <laughs> so basically long story short is I don't shop at Walmart. I don't shop at Save-A-Lot. I don't shop at Kroger or Marsh or uh, Myers or anything like that because those places are far too expensive for me to want to shop at. The place that I do shop at though, however, is in fact called Aldi's. It is a, uh, I believe a European based store, uh, started in Europe and then came here um, to the United States. I believe, I believe Aldi's is a European based store. Um, but they are very, very, very cheap on their food. They, you can get a lot of food for little price. Um, now, if you're one of those people that's like, I need name brand everything, you're not going to find that at Aldi's. They've got like the very off name, name brand type deals, um, but even off name, name brands can be really good. Uh, I can go to Aldi's and I can pick up an entire cartful, an entire cartful for about $100. $100, maybe a little bit more than $100, maybe a little bit less than $100, just depends on what I'm buying for the month because I never buy the same thing like every single month. There's always a different variety of things. Sometimes, um, and the best thing about the way that I cook is sometimes I will buy stuff and uh, not use it for that month because we just get so much food that it can carry over into the next month. So uh, we save a little bit of money there too. But uh, I thoroughly enjoy shopping at Aldi's because you can get a lot of cheap stuff uh, for really good deals, a lot of healthy food for really cheap, and uh, you can get a lot of items for super duper cheap. Um, if you guys don't shop at Aldi's or there's not an Aldi's in your area, the next best place that I would suggest would probably be like a Save-A-Lot. Um, they're probably the next cheapest place, but by far... Walmart and, and uh, Myers is definitely not a place that I would shop at, especially Myers. Myers is definitely the like the top end rich people 
la di da store. Like, they literally buff their apples to make them shiny. That's how expensive Myers is, okay? <laughs> That's how expensive. But yeah, I like to shop at Aldi's because, for example, you can get canned corn there. You can get canned vegetables for like 40 cents, uh, 35 cents a can. Uh, you can get like basically they're not hamburger helper meals but they're like hamburger helper meals anywhere between a dollar um up to like a dollar 89 you can get uh chicken like whole chickens for as cheap as three dollars a chicken and i mean the chickens they're like like this this big okay they're they're not they're not small they definitely feed uh the four of us over a two-day period um, <laughs> they're not small by any means. Um, but yeah, for as cheap as like three bucks, you can get entire things of chicken drums, um, like 12 packs of chicken drums for like three, four, five bucks. Um, it's just really, really cheap. You, and, and they, like I said, they have healthy stuff there too. Uh, you can get salads, you can get yogurt, you can get cheese, you can get fruits, veggies, um, they even have like almond milk. They have um, uh, vegetarian, vegan options. They've got tofu. Uh, literally, they have a very, very wide selection of things, and it's it's awesome of what they have there. Um, but yeah, I tend to shop at Aldi's, and then the next other place that I shop at would be the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't shop at the Dollar Tree like all that often due to the fact that a lot of things in the Dollar Tree you can get cheaper somewhere else. But if I'm headed for the name brand stuff that I know is going to be over a dollar at somewhere else like Walmart or somewhere like that, I'm definitely heading to the Dollar Tree to get my name brand stuff for a dollar or less because sometimes they run deals. Um, or like I said, couponing. I don't coupon, but if you go to the Dollar Tree with coupons for your name brand stuff, you can get it for basically free or 50 cents a quarter, you know, whatever your coupon is for. But um, yeah, that's how we, that's how we um, spend about $100 a month or $25 a week on groceries is we shop at Aldi's and we shop at the Dollar Tree, which is uh, by far one of the best places that I know where to shop. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below and uh, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!